Good morning and welcome back to the channel everybody. Um, first of all, is it fall? It is 60 degrees out here. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of fog out there. Uh, crazy, I, I was not expecting this. But yeah, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, second thing, doing something a little weird, but uh, you've already seen from the thumbnail and the title probably when you clicked on this video. I'm doing something different, something a little cool, and I'm throwing some antique lures. Uh, my papa gave me these lures. He was like really just wanting me to see if they would catch fish. Um, these are, at least one I remember, is over a hundred years old. So I'm gonna try and catch some fish on these lures, but I've gotta show them to y'all first, see what y'all think, and get them rigged up. But without further ado, let's start getting rigged up so we can rip some lips. All right, y'all, these are the lures my papa gave me to throw. So this apparently is like, the first spinner bait ever made. This is called a Shannon spinner, he told me. These are real feathers on here. And uh, double Colorado looking blades, maybe? Or uh, Indiana, Indiana blades, yeah. But yeah, we got a nice yellow, um, big bird looking spinner. I'm probably not gonna throw this guy, it's another Shannon spinner, but um, it's like some hair and it's not doing as well as the other lure. Um, but then this is like the first buzz bait ever made and it's really like a spoon and It's got the like buzz bait prop right there and real hair from some type of animal Super unique. Um, don't get mad at me for throwing these My papa said it's okay. He had quite a few of them and uh, Apparently these aren't super valuable yet. All right So what we've got here and what we've tied on first. This is called a herbs dilly and uh, this little lure is gonna be a top water lure. It's like a metal spoon with a buzz bait kind of buzzer prop, propeller, I don't know what to call it, and a hook. It's kind of like hidden in this like bucktail or whatever this is, but super unique lure. I'm gonna be throwing it first and I'll throw up a little picture from an antique lures book that gives a little info on it, but let's go ahead and get it out there on the water, see how it does. All right, Herb's Dilly going in. All right, little Herb's Dilly here. This sucker, I think, is gonna catch a fish for sure. I mean, 100-year-old lure, that's gonna be nuts. I, I can't wait to see if we can catch something on this. Give it a little chunk down here. I mean, I'm just gonna fish it. Oh, gosh! I got hit. But <laughs> So what I'm afraid of today is we got a, we got a pretty old hook. I tried to sharpen it but i don't i don't know how the hook is gonna do y'all <laughs> make sure my drag's tightened up oh yeah well i mean that was a fish i'm fishing with a dadgum artifact this lure is super cool okay i should have gotten some trailer hooks but i i didn't own any i didn't really want to go buy any so we're fishing it as is. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. It wasn't even like running right, but I got a fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, in the bottom of the mouth. Let's go, that's a good one. No way. Can y'all believe that? I mean, can you believe that? That is insane. Look at that thing. <laughs> Bottom of the lip. What? I didn't think it'd be this good. Nice little pound bass, but on the 100 year old lure that still works. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that's awesome. That was pretty quick. I mean, that was real quick but I'm gonna keep throwing it. I'm gonna get on that topwater bite. And then um, maybe if topwater slows down or I'm just ready to switch, then I'll switch over to the Shannon spinner and get on a little spinner bait bite. But right now it is topwater buzz bait time, y'all. There's one and I hooked him. 
All right. That is fish number two on the herbs. Dilly. Wow. Just a little guy, but the old 100-year-old lure is working great. Wow. <laughs> there might be some more out there. Man, it really feels like fall, like fall fishing right now. Just with this weather, um, the temperature drop. Oh, it feels amazing. I feel like I can stay out here all day. Man, it's so shallow. It's just like a couple inches of water along the bank here. Don't know why the water's so low. It rained here pretty recently. But if it's gonna be this shallow, I might have to throw my lure out a little off the bank. Might get better results doing that. All right, I'm not really getting that huge topwater bite today that you normally get in the summer mornings. Maybe it's the cool weather uh, has done something to it. I don't know, but I'll probably fish this last spot behind me. And uh, then I might think about switching over to that spinner bay. So we'll just have to see what happens. I can probably catch one right here though. This is normally a really good spot until I say it's a good spot and then it's not a good spot. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that was a bass. Oh, I got one. No! Uh, yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with the Herbs Dilly. This is the one that had the dullest hook on it, though. I will say that, so. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, the Herbs Dilly is getting bit, um, and I think it was really cool, and it definitely still works. 100 years later, um, some of the first fishing bass lures made still work today. I think that's pretty cool. Um, that's, that's just awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up, put the Shannon Spinner on, and we can get a little bit of a different lure, and uh, also see if that one still works today. First spinner bait ever made, supposedly. So let's see what happens. Check that out. A little bit of some double blade action. Uh, it's almost like the hook is hidden in here, but one of the features my papaw told me about a lot is that this is like a square hook, as you can notice right there. Definitely different, but um, this hook's actually pretty sharp. So this is the Shannon Spinner. I think this is gonna catch a fish. Okay, we've got the old Shannon Spinner on. <laughs> double flashing blades and a Real feather body, lead in the middle. What in the world? How is it in such good condition? I guess my, my papa took really good care of these. Oh my gosh, it's like you can fish it so slow. It, it catches so much water. Oh, this one's so sick. I was wondering what the action would be like on this, but like there's so much resistance and drag when you're reeling it. Uh, I can fish this so much slower than that uh, Herbs Dilly. Oh, bump, bump. Could be rocks though. Or fish, something waked right there. Oh, man, this, I think this one's gonna imitate like little bait fish really well. It'd be like a school of swimming little bait fish. All right, well, I think I'm getting ready to start my walk that lands me on the other side of the pond in the sunlight. This lure could potentially be better with a little bit of sun coming through the water. I mean, it looks good, but that flash could really stand out um, if we get a little bit of sunlight on there. Golly, water's so shallow. Oh, oh, he got cracked. Oh, he got rocked. Y'all, something smacked it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, got him. Oh. <sighs> got one. He's pinned, I believe. Little guy. But he's not, he's not a dinker dinker. He's just a regular dinker. 
Yeah, perfect hook set. Beautiful, beautiful bass. That's what we love to see. I think that's my third fish of the day. I don't know. I don't know. We're throwing antique lures. I mean, numbers don't really matter that much. Okay, so he was out from the bank. Out kind of off the bank a good bit, actually. So we're definitely going to have to work that into our attack plan more. You know when they like invented these things though, back in 1900, that like this changed the game. You know, you had to throw live bait or dead bait, I guess, under a cork or on the bottom. And then some guy, first man ever, is just slinging this and retrieving it. Like covering so much ground, ah, missed one there. But anyways, covering ground oh my gosh and just like you know having action and not having to keep a lure alive because you probably couldn't throw up into a cover or trees or anything really well with live bait but man this just revolutionized fishing as we knew it back then and it's funny to look back at them now and think what is that but you still see the characteristics and traits that inspired our modern lures <sighs> And you can look at this and know that could probably still catch a fish. Oops, that is not a good spot to throw. Oh, got one on the other side of the ball. Oh, I hooked him, okay. Okay. Whoa. That was a cool catch. I love doing that, throw over the side of uh, some brush or something in the water and as you're going to bring it up over it something just yanks it from the other side there's one is that a decent fish no <laughs> but a fish nonetheless pretty fella on the shannon spinner really white one huh well that's cool. I figured there might be one somewhere at this point. It's some distance off the bank, at some depth. And I mean, that's back to the advantages of this. You just cover a lot of ground. Leave a comment if you've heard of a Shannon Spinner or a Herb's Dilly or a Herb Dilly. I, I don't know. It's a guy's name, so it might not be pronounced Herb or Herb. I don't know. But yeah, leave a comment if you've ever heard of them. I've heard of him because of my papa, who collects a lot of antique lures. And uh, he insisted that these were killers and these would get it done. But he really wanted to see me catch a big fish on it, but he should know better than to expect that of me. I'm not that guy. Oh yeah, that's a fish waiting to be snagged. There it was. There it is. Stay on there, little guy. My little friend. Wow, dink of the day. Should've known better than to throw a Shannon spinner in the summer. I'm gonna catch the dinkers. Oh, <gasps> no, my Shannon spinner. Oh no, Papa's not gonna be happy. Great, there's a 100 year old lure in a bass's mouth. What the heck? I like cut my line on something in the water. Oh no, hmm. Maybe I should call it quits for I lose another antique. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. That felt like a pretty good fish. Oh, and I didn't break off at the leader and I didn't break off at the knot. It's probably because this water's so shallow. There's probably some debris sticking up. Cut my line. I might have just lost an antique lure on a trophy fish. Probably not. But he might have been like a five pounder, you know. Um, but the lure's definitely gone. So that's true uh, for sure. So uh, I think it's time to call it quits because I don't want to lose my dipsy. No, it's not a dipsy doodle. Whatever. Uh, my herbs dilly. Herbs dilly. And uh, I think it's a little past top water o'clock. So we're going to wrap it up here. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I have fun doing stuff like this. 
Um, I'm sure my papa is going to be really happy watching this. He was really pushing for me to film this one for y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed as much as he did. And uh, yeah, I'm done. Um, like, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, I'm ready for the fall bite for show. And uh, yeah, can't wait to just keep on fishing and see what happens. But with all that being said, I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.